have a review. Today we're showing you this, which is the Epson EH-TW490. I have to say, this is a pretty good projector. Uh, it's really cost effective, and what you're you know, buying for the price is you really cannot go wrong, guys. Uh, spec wise, here you've got uh, HD Ready 720p, uh, you've got the equally high white and colour light output of 3000 lumens along with Epson's free LCD technology. So I do like that, especially with the equal um, outputs of your whites and your colours. In other words guys, to dumb it right down, you're going to get a good picture because of that. So because it matches that, yeah, this is equal to your white and your colour, you do get a really good picture guys. So. That's all good. You're getting a 12,000 to 1 contrast ratio. You're getting your manual uh, horizontal slider and your automatic vertical, vertical keystone correction. So basically you can line up all your, all your uh, image on your projector screen or if you're just projecting straight onto the wall or wherever you're projecting your image basically. I'm going to show you some of the settings on top in a minute. Let's just carry on for the specs. Uh, 2 watts. Uh, video, uh, you got a video games mode, you got a movie mode, you got a sports mode. Uh, you warranty, guys, I do love warranties on the Epson projectors. You're getting the 24 months carry in, or you got a, f f a lamp 36 months or 3,000 hours, I believe. So, that's all good. Right, anyway, this is what you get in the box. You got all your instructions right here. Your, uh, uh, insert information booklet right there. Again, a good remote control, guys. Got everything you need on it. All your power to switch sources, your menu buttons, power, uh, you got your e zoom, volume, and so on. Obviously, you got a plug, or else you won't be able to turn it on. Uh, but what I like about this one is it also comes with a lovely carry case, guys. There we go, see that? Your carry case, stick it in. So, this is good for gamers guys, I really do like this projector, especially for gamers, because at the end of the day, you shove it in your carry bag, go out to your mate's house, project onto a wall or something, and, uh, and have a good gaming night. Hey, can't beat that, can you? <laughs> well, let's show you the top of the projector then, so right on here, you've got all your different uh, controls, yeah, it's doing the block way for you, so you can read them. Uh, you got your, like, your menu, these are your um, alignment controls, your horizontal alignment controls, um, escape, you got help, uh, volume, enter, search, uh, power, and so on. Right here, you got a slider, which I'm going to talk more about this, this to help you line your image up. You got your zoom and focus right here as well. Uh, you got that one there, which closes your lamp off. Uh, on the back, show the connections, you're getting a USB-A, USB-B, you got your uh, video, your video in and your audio, you got S-Video, you got a computer, and you've also got a HDMI. While I'm on the back, you got uh, one speaker here, which is 2 watts, your power's right there, your adjustable feet, so you can uh, raise or lower the projector, as you need to, once it's on the surface. Infrared there for your remote. Uh, on the side here is access to your filter. They are changeable guys. And also, you've got a Kensington lock there, so you can lock your projector down. Nothing much really on the front. You've got the infrared there. You've got this here, which adjusts a leg. Let me just get the leg out. There it is. So again, you could just hide the projector as or as ha, ha, however much you need. <laughs> uh, could get it out there, could I, guys? <laughs> uh, right here, you got a fan which uh, basically blows the heat out to keep your projector cool. Uh, nothing on that side, and that's basically access to the lamp, I believe. Uh, on the bottom, you have got uh, mounts, uh, so you can actually. Uh, Put this on a ceiling mount or a wall mount or something like that. So yeah, that's basically uh, showing you all around the projector. 
I uh, have to say guys, it is really, really good. Um, uh, there you go, actually you can see that now. Uh, uh, so you can just adjust it or whatever. But yeah, I've been using this now for quite a bit actually. You know, I've been playing around this a lot normally than what I normally do. Uh, just had a few personal things going on at home, but in that time I've been really been playing around with this, reusing it, and you know, don't get me wrong guys, it's only a 720p projector, so you're not getting that full HD wowness, uh, but come on, 720p is still really, really good guys, so I've been really happy with this. Um, particularly gaming, you know, I've been playing some games on this, and you know, I've, I haven't been able to fault this at all. The picture's good, quality's good, 720p guys. It, it's good. Idea just to go in a spare room or something, you know, or if you've got a room that's empty, well, a spare room, any, I suppose you could ask it. Just set you up in there, guys, and have a bit of a movie night or a bit of games night in there. You really can't go wrong. Now, the feature I was going to talk to, to you about was this one right here, this alignment control. Now, I like this. This is a really good feature of, of Epson's projectors. Now, in a perfect world, in a perfect situation, you want your projector basically projecting sat where ever you're going to project straight forward onto your projector um, wall, projector screen, I should say. However, that ain't always the case. Sometimes you might have to shift your projector there in order to project because there's something in the way. Now, to do that, obviously, your, your image is going to be slightly off. Well, thanks to this here, it's adjustable. So if I do this right, let's just move that a sec. All right, so that here is straight projecting onto this wall here. Right, but if there's something blocking it like that there, obviously it's going to cut off a bit, bit of your image. So basically, you just basically realign it like that or something like that. And use this slider here to line the image straight back up onto that wall. So it's basically an alignment to bring your image straight onto the wall. So I do like that, guys. It, it is a really good uh, thing of Epson's to have that uh, an alignment, because it's really handy. Uh, <coughs> in matter of fact, I'm, like, I'm okay now. I'm, I am able to project straight onto the wall. But in the past, when I've reviewed some of the Epson's projectors, that's how they are on a slight angle. But then I've used this to correct the image and bring it back straight. And it's been really good, guys. Really, really good. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, again, I'll just quickly run through them. Again, it's a HD Ready 720p. You've got the Eco High White and Color Light output of 3000 lumens, along with the Epson 3 LCD technology. 12,000 to 1 contrast ratio. You've got the manual horizontal slider and automatic uh, vertical keystone correction. You've got the two watt speaker, you've got uh, video games mode, you've got the movie mode and your sport events. Basically, you go into your settings and it's all there. So if you're watching like football or something, then I'll suggest putting onto sports. If you're you know, just watching general movies or TV shows, leaving on movies, and if you're playing your video games like your PlayStation or Xbox or something like that through this, then Switch it over to your video games mode, and it, it, it's just the best way to do it, guys. Some people don't bother, but believe you me, if you do it, everything's a lot better. So, that's my tip for you. And also, you get that 24 months carrying in warranty or lamp, which is your 36 months or 3,000 hours. So, yeah, overall, guys, for the price you're paying for this projector, you really, really cannot go wrong. And it's a projector for the price that I really do highly recommend you check out. So once again, that is the Epson EH-TW490. Well, I'd like to thank the PR team for sending us this out to us to review. As always, we really do appreciate it. And do look out for more of our video reviews over at www.geekstech.co.uk as well as youtube.com forward slash geekstick and don't forget guys to give us a like and to hit that subscribe on my inner wrist and we'll catch you later